20-year-old pleaded no contest to killing his own father and seriously injuring his mother and younger brother. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kirchner takes you to the court for the plea and the long, tragic story still ahead for the Cipriano family. You will go to prison for the rest of your life. Yes, sir. You will not be paroled. Yes, sir. You will die in prison. Yes, sir. He got the message. Sources telling 7 Action News family members talk to Tucker Cipriano daily for the last couple of weeks while he's in jail. And Tucker's gone back and forth before today. Family members now under a gag order as co-defendant Mitchell Young goes on trial this week. But a couple of weeks ago, before the order was issued by the judge, Tucker's uncle telling 7 Action News they wanted plea deals for both young men, even if it meant long, but not life sentences. They're basically being assaulted a second time. And this time, it's being done by Jessica Cooper. It was April of last year that Tucker and Mitchell Young broke into the Cipriano home in Farmington Hills to steal anything of value. Both have been kicked out of their homes. Both smoked synthetic marijuana before the attacks. Both confessed. Bob Cipriano was killed, his wife Rose and son Sal critically injured. The prosecutor witness list includes Rose and two of her kids who are not injured, including nine-year-old Isabella. Part of her statement to police was read in court today. And I got my bat. I was trying to get Tucker, but then Tucker took my bat and started to pound Tor, that self tour, and my mom with the other kid. That's just part of the pain this family wants to avoid as the trial of Mitchell Young goes this week. They can be called as witnesses. In Oakland County, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. Okay, Jim, thank you very much. Well, Tucker Cipriano will be sentenced to life without parole next month. Meantime, a jury for Mitchell Young's trial was seated, and those opening statements are expected to begin on Wednesday.